Hello and welcome students. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting series. This series is given by one of my student and he asked me to find out the sum of this infinite series and this series also asked on the mathstackexchange.com where you can get very weird solution of the series. We are going to discuss a very interesting manner to find the sum of this series. So I request you please pause the video and attempt it on your own if you can. I am also giving you a hint, a very very important hint that you can find the sum of this series by using this concept that if we integrate x to the power n with respect to x in the interval 0 comma 1 then finally what will we get 1 over n plus 1 right. So this is, I hope you all know how can we get it but it is very very simple concept and you must apply this concept to find out the sum of this series. So first of all, you should try it on your own. Then watch the solution with me. This channel ko subscribe kijiye aur bell icon ko press kijiye jee mathematics related video dekhne ke liye. Okay, guys, I hope you have already attempted the question. Now find the way to simplify the sum. Right. First of all, observe here there are two type of term basically. Some terms are positive and some terms are negative. So let me collect positive term at a place one plus 1 by 7, this is plus 1 by 13, plus 1 by 19 and so on. And the negative terms in another bracket, and the negative terms are 1 by 5, plus 1 by 11, plus 1 by 17, right, plus 1 by 23 and so on. Okay, now we are going to apply this concept. So closely watch it. If you want to get 1 upon n plus 1, then you have to integrate x to the power n. So now to get 1, you have to integrate x to the power 0, correct? Or you can write it 1. To get 1 by 7, you must integrate x to the power 6. To get 1 by 13, we must integrate x to the power 12. For this, we must integrate x to the power 18 and so on okay and to get 1 by 5 we should integrate x to the power 4 for this we must integrate x to the power 10 for this we must integrate x to the power 16 for this we must integrate x to the power 22 and so on okay this sum can be written Now look here, this is an infinite geometric progression, okay, with common ratio x to the power 6. So we can write it 1 divided by 1 minus x to the power 6. Similarly, we can write this minus the first term x to the power 4 divided by 1 minus common ratio which is again x to the power 6 and we can do this because here x is lying between 0 and 1. We have taken the variable x lying between 0 and 1 because we are going to integrate it from 0 to 1. Okay. So now, if we integrate both sides, so integrate both sides from 0 to 1. Okay. Now, what will we get? Integration from 0 to 1, the integration of 1 and I write it by combining these two terms 1 then minus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 6 minus x to the power 10 plus x to the power 12 minus x to the power 16 and so on. Okay? And here we have to integrate from 0 to 1. The sum of these two terms can be written 1 minus x to the power 4 divided by 1 minus x to the power 6 dx. Okay guys? Now if you factorize this we can cancel out the same factor. And the remaining factor will be 1 plus x square divided by 1 plus x square plus x to the power 4 dx. Okay. Now, now what will be the integration of this term? The integration of 1 will become 1 in this interval. Integration of x to the power 4 will become 1 by 5. The integration of this term will be 1 by 7 minus 1 by 11 plus 1 by 13 minus 1 by 17 and so on. Correct. So this is the series and here we will get some of this series. To integrate this, we will divide numerator and denominator by x square and we can write it 1 by x square plus 1 
1 by x square plus 1 plus x square into dx, right. Now, we will complete the remaining solution here. So, 1 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 minus 1 by 11 and so on can be written integration from 0 to 1 of this can be written 1 plus 1 by x square dx divided by. Now, I will write this term as x minus 1 by x whole square plus 3, right. And what is the advantage to write it like this? Because if we are going to take x minus 1 by x equal to t, then the differentiation of this will become 1 plus 1 by x square dx is equal to dt and this integration can be written dt divided by t square plus 3. And what will be the range of t? So, when x is equal to 0 and t is equal to minus infinity from here and when x is equal to 1 and t is equal to 0, you can get it from here, right. Now, the integration of this is very simple that is 1 by root 3 10 inverse of t by root 3. Now, we will put the limit from minus infinite to 0. So, finally, what will we get 1 by root 3? 10 inverse 0 will become 0 and minus 10 inverse minus infinity will become minus pi by 2. So, finally, we got pi upon 2 root 3. Okay, friends. So, the right answer, the sum of this series is pi upon 2 root 3. So, this is the solution and we have find the sum of this series with help of integration. I hope you understand how can I do it. So, let me meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Hey, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.